Praise the Lord. I'll start with the prayer of Jeremiah. That's Jeremiah 1, 6 onwards. Lord, put forth your hand and touch my mouth and put your words in my mouth. Today, I'm going to talk about Psalms. Psalms are very powerful. It's so beautiful and divine and it can transport you to heaven when you meditate on that. God speaks to you through Psalms. It protects you at times of destruction. It comforts you at times of trouble. It strengthens you at times of difficulty. So it's good to memorize as many Psalms as possible. Today, I'll, I'll discuss about three Psalms that are very close to my heart. The first Psalm is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your road and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So this is the first psalm I memorized. My mother taught me this psalm when I was four or five years old. I don't exactly remember when. At that time, I didn't understand the meaning of that. I just memorized it. But later when I meditate on that, it gives me a sense of protection. It gives me a sense of security. And it reminds me of my mother's love and the effort she has put in bringing us up in God's ways. So it's very close to my heart. The second psalm is Psalm 91. God's protection. So whenever we go on a long journey or whenever we go out for anything important, we pray Psalm 91 and go. It's for, it's for God's protection. So once when we were coming back from our native place to Bangalore, we met with a major accident. It was two back-to-back -back accidents and our entire family was there, eight of us, and we were miraculously saved. Some three people died in that accident. So it was God's protection that saved us. So many people die in accident. That's God's decision and God's will. We should respect that. I'm not talking about that. But this is what when evil tries to harm you, God will protect you. So in order to get God's protection against evil forces, you should tell this Psalm. I'll just read that Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. For you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that bases at noonday. And another thing that comes to my mind is I was distressed about something. I was disturbed about something. And when I went to bed, I was worried about that, whether that will happen to me. And in the middle of night, I woke up and when I was getting up, I heard this in my ears. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. So God was speaking to me through these verses and I understood that whatever I worried, it will not happen to me. God will protect me from that and that worry left me and I, I got my peace of mind back. So this is Psalm of Protection and it's very powerful Psalm and it gives you protection from evil forces. The third Psalm is Psalm 51. That is a Psalm uh, David recited uh, after he sinned with Bethsheba. So after he sinned, he, when he realized his sin, he went before God and he prayed this psalm. I'll just read that. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. 
Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with he soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness. Let the bonds which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. It basically gives you a model of uh, how to pray after you uh, sin. So as humans, we are not infallible. At times we fall in small or big ways. But what is important is when once we realize that we have sinned, we should go back to God and pray for pardon and mercy. So this is a wonderful psalm to uh, recite when you are in a, uh, when you want pardon and mercy from God. So as a family, we often recite this. And, and we think it's important to keep our conscience clear and uh, uh, remain in a state of grace. And these are three psalms I want to discuss today. There are other psalms also that are very close to my heart. Uh, for example, Psalm 1, uh, Psalm 57, Psalm 45, Psalm 119, Psalm 121, so on and so forth. And it's good to memorize as many psalms as possible. And I encourage my children to memorize as many psalms as possible because I hope that will give them the necessary guidance to live in this world. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for watching the living waters if you are here for the first time please hit the subscribe button if you have any comments feedback suggestions or prayer request email us at info at the living waters dot life we would love to hear from you god bless you all thank you